the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? No? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, fearsome lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew. That's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Right, let's get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty... Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eo Tyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus Keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! <laughs> oh, hi! Uh, oh! Uh, welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Jubaria. I I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. Yeah! Oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah, the only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? 
Sure, sis. Eh, she likes it when I do that. Hi there. I'm a Laphrosaurus. That's e la fro -saurus. It means nimble or lightweight lizard. Watch me. Hey, come over here. Over here. Yeah, this way. I'm in a race with a Brachiosaurus back there. Not that it's much of a contest. I'm one of the fastest dinosaurs around. Ooh, what a nice rock. I'm so fast I can even take time out and sun myself. I can stand faster than he can run. I have no worries. Ah, that's alive. Oh, yes. I'm super fast, and that's got a lot to do with the way I'm built. You see, I'm a carnivore, so I eat meat. I'm perfectly built for chasing smaller animals out here in the plain. And how am I built, you ask? See, I'm long and lean. And these long legs may be perfect for running. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I turn. And I'm light. I weigh about 210 kilograms, which is why I don't have to worry about... Hey, where did he go? I don't believe this. Brachiosaurus won. How could this be? I'm way faster than Brachiosaurus. Fine. I suppose if I had done less talking and more running, I would have won the race. Okay, you, get up. I challenge you to another race. Wow! I'm Mashiachosaurus. You say it like this, ma she a ca -saurus. And my name means vicious lizard. Wow! The late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago, was a total blast. Yahoo! Yeah! And I'm a theropod, like the T-Rex, so I eat meat. But check these out. Okay, I look like I need to go to the dentist. But seriously, these teeth were made for fishing. Hey, why can't we all just get along? Because Mashiachosaurus needs to eat. So the fish. Yikes. Fish food, I mean. Mashiachosaurus are from what's now called Madagascar. Yum, 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 yum. And stay out. Thrown out of a lake by a fish. How embarrassing. Don't they know I'm a theropod, like a T-Rex? Whoa there, Rex. Would it help to know that he's not much bigger than a dog? I wasn't talking to you, T-Rex. But fish isn't the only thing I eat. Jackpot! Mmm, time for lunch. See you guys later. Oops, sorry about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush. So I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. Excuse me, I'm wondering if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea, but nope. 
She hates nuts. We're carnivores, and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Achoo! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. There, come here. Closer, closer. Too close. Ah, that's better. My name is Dilophosaurus. That's Dilophosaurus. I live here in the early Jurassic period. That's 200 million years ago. Whoa, look at that. Two cicades. One, two. I love the number two. Dilophosaurus means two crested lizard. See? One, two. Two crests. Ha! I'm a theropod. That means I run on two legs. Two. And it also means that I eat meat. Two dinners to go. Yum and yummier. Hmm. I live in what is now known as Arizona in the USA. I am the great, 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 great granddaddy of modern day birds. But I'm a lot bigger. In fact, I'm the biggest meat eater alive here in the Jurassic period. And here are my two favorite twos. My kids. What do you say we play two games of tag and find two snacks and pick two plants for mom? Wow, me, sure me, 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 me. Great. See you tomorrow. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! Ah, now that's the life. We'll take that. Theropods. We're always playing games like this. 
I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As far as dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino ball! Ah, gotcha! <laughs> See you later! Oh, aren't they precious? Hi! I'm Plesiosaurus. You say that Plesiosaurus. My name needs near lizard, and this is the early Jurassic period 180 million years ago. I have to gather up the babies and get them to school. Okay, it's time for school, you three. Our four flippers let us move through the water as easily as flying through the air. It's our best defense against predators bigger than us here in the water. Oh my! Now where do they go? And this is the other defense we have against predators. We blend into the underwater scenery. <laughs> Got you! I'm a medium-sized plesiosaurus, as you can see. I'm only slightly larger than a human being. Oh, and plesiosaurus are not actually dinosaurs. We're big reptiles who live in the water. The way you can tell us apart from dinosaurs is what our legs look like. Mine are springing like this, and dinosaur legs go up and down like a human's. Anyway, plesiosaurus eat lots of fish, and our teeth are mesh, so when we grab a fish, we never let go. Our fossils have been found in many places because a lot of the Earth was covered with water in the Jurassic period. See? I got you to go to school after all. I think it's time for recess, don't you? Let's go to the top for some air. Bye! smile a You're staying away from the tar pit, right? Okay, Mom. That's smile dawn It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age a million years ago and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all along vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop! You can't go this way! Don't get mad at me! You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion, but there are some differences between us. Like I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge! Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. A puddle car? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me because... Ah! Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King, and, well, that's me! <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. 
But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater. Uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me and I need them because it's lunchtime. Oh dear. Hi there. I was just saying hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mama's just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's Gallimimus. My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else. But I don't think I copy a chicken at all. I'd like to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail, I'm almost as long as a big car. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! Ah, greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sonornithoids, a theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, am one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. He's a bird brain. <laughs> It is said that I, Sinornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise, especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call Feathered Dragon Leaping. Observe and learn. Ah! Uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. Ah! Oh, ha! Huh. It's the late Jurassic period. A hundred and fifty million years ago. I'm so dead. Say it like this. So dead. I'm a pterosaur. That's a flying reptile. But I don't know how to fly yet. <laughs> if I'm ever gonna catch those bugs, I have to learn soon. See, I'm 
not a very big pterosaur, but I have a half a meter wingspan. Check it out. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a big crest on my head like other pterosaurs do. A long way down. I should really stop flying so I can warm up. Even with thick furry feathers covering me, I'm getting cold. I'm from what is now Kazakhstan, and it sure can get cold here. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I know I can fly. Really, really, really?